Facebook. This is Amy Sagarwal with Channel 11. We are here um, at the entrance to the Huntington Center. And doors have opened just a little bit early for President Trump's rally here tonight. Um, they were set to open at 3 o'clock, but they just kind of started letting people in a little bit early. From what I've been told, it's been, I want to say, about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and they've been coming in. Just because there are obviously a lot of security measures being put into place here today. I'm going to pan over so you guys can see. There's only one entrance today to the Huntington Center, and it is the entrance here off of Huron. And all of these people here are going through airport level security measures at this point. I'm going to kind of pan over so you guys can take a look. And again, this rally doesn't actually start until 7 o'clock tonight. That's when they're going to start, uh, when President Trump is set to speak. Um, but a lot of these people have been waiting in line for quite some time. I talked to the first person who was in line, and she actually got here at 1230 yesterday afternoon. So she was standing in line. I mean, she was sitting and had bathroom breaks, obviously. But she was the first one in line and was here for more than 24 hours. And people are just slowly starting to trickle in. There's a couple different uh, checkpoints here. No outside food is allowed in the rally, so they're kind of taking that as people go. But you can probably see all the people that are still lined up over there on Huron Street, so this could take quite some time to get everyone checked through security and into the rally. And we have a couple of uh, prohibited items here on the screen. So if you're headed downtown and you're going to go into the rally, those up, the items up there are what you can and cannot bring, or what you cannot bring, I should say. This was announced way ahead of time. They can just kind of see those lines are moving relatively quickly, but still a lot of people left to go. A lot of these people obviously picked up some Trump gear on the way in. There were a number of different pop-up shops that were uh, put around downtown that are still up. So again, for those of you that are just joining us here, we are live in downtown Toledo, right outside the Huntington Center where President Trump is set to hold a rally tonight at seven. Doors opened a little early here today. They were set to open at three, but looks like they let people in a little early. Um, there's still a lot of people left to go through those lines and whatnot. And there's a lot of security measures being put in place at this point. So you can see this line. Those entrances, that is the only entrance here today that people are allowed in. So this is the Huron Street entrance near the aquarium. And they're all going through TSA level security at this point, um, just to make sure everything is good to go inside the rally. We've got a couple of supporters here. How long did you guys wait in line? Okay, so just a couple hours. Now, again, if you guys do not have tickets to this rally and you want to watch it, we will be streaming it on our app. It will not be on our live broadcast because it starts at 7. Um, we will not be able to broadcast the full rally live, but we will be bringing it to you on our app and on our website. So you can tune in there if you don't have tickets and you want to see what President Trump has to say. Obviously, a lot of topics on the table here tonight. How long did you guys wait in line? noon okay so lots of different lots of different answers here today it looks like the this kind of section of the line was only here for a couple of hours um, but again people were lined up last night people were lined up yesterday afternoon even you can see that there's a couple of chairs still there a couple of lawn chairs 
And uh, we put out a video on Twitter. I don't know if you guys saw it, but there were, I mean, this line was pretty much wrapped around here by the Huntington Center. It went on for quite some time, so it could take a little bit of time to get all these people through security. They're going to go through uh, TSA level security. If you are coming down to the rally, uh, just know that anything you can't bring on a plane, you can't bring into this rally. Now, obviously, there are two sides to this. Um, there are a couple of people. There are the other side who is there are actually counter protests going on to this rally. Obviously, um, not right here where I'm at, but our Tyler Paley is going to be over there today. He'll be bringing you that angle. If you are watching this right now and you are waiting in line or you're going to the rally, let us know. Drop us a comment and let us know how long you waited, what you're hoping uh, President Trump addresses tonight. Huron Street is pretty much completely closed off. So also, if you're coming downtown, even if it's not for this rally, you should be aware of that. So you can see a lot of these people are being checked pretty thoroughly. And then they're being checked again in there. Lots to talk about tonight. We'll be listen, listening um, into President Trump's comments, bringing them to you live again on our app and on our website. The doors opened a little early here today. They were set to open at three o'clock, but um, looks like things kind of got started ahead of time. I'm gonna kind of pan around a little bit um, to give you guys a full perspective of how many people are here. We obviously don't have a count at this point. So um, we'll continue to bring you lots of coverage um, as the president comes to town um, when the motorcade arrives. His exact route is not being made public for security reasons at this point, but we do have a crew that is set to follow that motorcade. And as the line continues to go back in, we'll continue to watch for more updates. Um, stay with us, and if you haven't downloaded that app, do so right now. Thank you.